Okay, in some applications, uh, the removal of the Quick Pro roller assembly can be a little bit difficult. Normally, you would just reach in and give a little bit of pressure, and you should be able to slide the roller assembly off the shaft. In other applications, it may be necessary to rotate the rear tube housing until it's in alignment with the keyholes, and then carefully remove it off of the keyed um, detainers and give it a pull and the roller assembly should come off the shaft. As you can see, the rear housing has three uh, keyed holes, which also line up with these pins that stick out of the uh, gearbox <clears throat> on the motor assembly. Put tube housing back on, take the roller assembly, find the, the flat spot, Might have to go around a little bit until you locate it, and then slide it on. It's always a good idea to put a little bit of AquaShield grease on the shaft just to keep it lubricated for easy removal. If there's any corrosion, um, rust, or anything else on the shaft, we do recommend that you clean it uh, the best you can by either uh, using a wire brush or some fine um, emery cloth to clean that off and then re-grease it. Now in the event that you have a very stubborn roller assembly and you need to use some force to get it off, we recommend that you loosen up the rear housing, gently uh, pull it away from the, the gearbox and make sure that it's no longer held by the pins. And by taking a flat blade screwdriver, you can stick that behind the tube housing, get it as close to the shaft as possible, and then put gentle pressure in reverse towards the motor housing so that you're putting your pressure on the center of the tube housing, and you should be able to release the roller assembly that way. Never pull towards you or you run the risk of breaking the actual tube housing. Always uh, put your pressure to the back acting as a lever to put pressure on the center of the tube housing. That's it, hope it helps.